check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. We have new Crown Jewel champions, which... Uh, they didn't even get to keep their belts. No, these are gigantic, gaudy belts. They, they actually explained what the belts were made of. And uh, given this is Saudi Arabia and the belts are going to be kept in vaults afterwards... I believe 100% that these are the most expensive belts ever created in the history of wrestling. And I'm sure the crown prince paid for them. And uh, he's not letting them leave. But yes, the winners were presented with the belts. But the belts stay at the WWE Experience in Riyadh. And the winners will be getting Super Bowl-style giant rings. And Hunter said it's going to be like an annual thing. And I guess we'll find out who can collect the most rings over the years. And, uh, yeah, these are ridiculous gaudy belts. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure that if they are, then, uh, you know, the boxing belts, if they start making boxing belts, they'll make, you know, even more expensive belts because yeah. they spend a lot more money on their boxing than they do on their wrestling. As much as they spend on their wrestling, which is a lot. And everyone's doing that now. Well, everyone in the Middle East, you know, Abu Dhabi and, and uh, um, you know, Saudi Arabia and... Um, it's probably going to up the ante for other countries, too, you know, when it comes to these. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's probably going to wind up doing that for boxing and MMA. It's great for their business. Well, what did you think of this pay-per-view? Um, I thought that it was, um, it was an easy-to-watch show. I didn't think that there was anything special at all on the show. It was just kind of like there. Um, the... Uh, you know the, the the booking I would say is was was predictable, which isn't necessarily bad. I mean, like in the opening match, I was surprised that they had uh, Roman Reigns lose the ball and not Jimmy Uso. But uh, um, I think that that sounds like that they're going to do a real big Roman Reigns Solo Sokoa match and probably Roman Reigns Jacob Fatu match as well. But the Solo Sokoa match seems to be the one that they're going to make as the big one because he's the one that got the pin, and um, so. You know, and they, you know, they got Sami Zayn involved, which it, it's like every single person in the building knew that that was going to happen. Um, and then the, you know, as far as Cody Rhodes and Gunther, I thought they had, the, I thought Cody Rhodes and Gunther had the best match, but it was it was a by the books match. It was a WWE um, pay per view main event. You kick out of each other's finisher, and then you know you do something. And um, in this case, Cody Rhodes got the win when he reversed the choke. Um, or cradle got a, a basically a cradle off the choke, which is a spot that they do, you know, in almost every Shayna Baszler match for an ear fall. So I just figured there's an ear fall, but it was a, an actual pin, you know, gotten from you know the Bret Hart Roddy Piper match at WrestleMania, I believe seven. Um, and they actually did the exact same spot in the Mariah May Anna J match on Collision. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, but that's, it's, it's, it, that spot gets done all the time. I mean, it's like a normal spot, but it, it's never, it's like never a pin, but in this match, it was the pin. And then as far as the, um, the Liv Morgan and Nia Jax match, a lot of interference. I mean, it was, the interference was what it was. I really thought that that match was, um, not so good at all, really. I mean, the interference just got silly and, um, the way the match was worked, I mean, like within like a few minutes of the match, I mean, and it was also a short match. Um, but within a few minutes of the match, I mean, it was so obvious that like Nia Jax was just killing her constantly. So it was kind of like, they're not going to like have the person, they're not going to have one of their world champions get killed this decisively and made to look so uncompetitive unless they're winning. And that's exactly what happened. And, you know, Dominic got involved and Raquel Rodriguez got involved. And, um, I'm sure that Rhea Ripley probably would have been involved, except she's probably not allowed to fly. And, uh, it kind of was what it was. Um, but I thought, like, I didn't, like you know, the L.A. night match was short but very good, and uh, the women's tag was was pretty good. I thought it was probably better than, other than the, you know, EO Sky slipped off the ropes, big deal. But And L.A. Knight did, too, for that matter. He crotched himself and then didn't sell it because it wasn't supposed to happen. But, um, you know, it was like a, um, it was a good show, but, like, no big, storyline stuff other than the Sami Zayn thing. You know, other than that, it was like, from a storyline standpoint, very little uh, move forward. Bronson Reed and Seth Rollins was, was good. Um, not off the charts or nothing, but it was good.
Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.